वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम सेवन डैश फोर्टी थ्री सो स्टेटमेंट इज द बॉक्स बीम इज मेड फ्रॉम फोर पीसीज ऑफ प्लास्टिक डेथ आर ग्लू टुगेदर एज शोन इफ ग्लू हैज एलाउेबल एलाउेबल स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ फोर्टी फोर हंड्रेड पाउंड पर स्क्वेयर इंच डिटरमाइन द मैक्सिमम शेयर द बीम विल सपोर्ट सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द बॉक्स बीम दैट इज मेड ऑफ फोर प्लास्टिक वन टू थ्री फोर एंड दे आर ग्लू टुगेदर एट दिस पॉइंट एंड at this point the shear allowable strength of this glue is 400 pounds per square inch so you have to find the maximum shear that be this beam will support so let's start with the solution we know that allowable shearing stress is equal to v into q divided by i into t so what we we can see we have this glue at this point and this glue at this point so let this glue is represented as point b and this glue as will be represented as point a so what we will do is that we will find q for a as well and q for p point as well clear so let first find uh, section property which is i section property i so i for rectangular cross section is 1 over 12 bh cube since this is a a box type beam so we will find the moment of inertia of this portion and we will subtract the moment of inertia of this empty portion so this the moment of inertia of this shaded portion will be obtained so i will write i is equal to 1 over 12 its breadth is 5.5 plus 0.25 plus 0.25 is 6 inch so 1 over 12 breadth is 6 and height is 4.75 plus 0.25 plus 0.25 which is uh, 5.25 so i will write uh, height is 5.25 whole cube minus the moment of inertia of this empty portion so empty portion this width is 5.5 so 1 over 12 into 5.5 into height this height is 4.75 so 4.75 whole cube so when you solve this you will get i for this box time beams comes out to be 23.23 1 inch power 4 so this is the value of i we will find qb moment uh, first moment of inertia of this point b of this glue b clear so you can see that the it's new since if we take the half of this so this will be the neutral axis and the beam is symmetrical about horizontal axis so for finding uh, uh, the qb for this area so this portion will be equal to shaded area so qb is equal to y dash bar into a dash so a dash for this portion is shaded portion is 6 multiplied by 0.25 which is thickness so area is 6 multiply by 0.25 inch and what about y dash so y dash is distance from neutral axis till mid of this this is your y dash bar clear so we will write for b it is y dash b into ab ab a dash b so this area is a dash b so y dash is 0.25 divided by 2 is 0.125 so this uh, q dash will be 4.75 divided by 2 will give you this portion this is 4.75 divided by 2 plus this portion 4.75 divided by 2 Plus 0.125 is equal to 2.5. This is equal to 2.375 inch. 
so y dash b is 2.5 inch so when you calculate it will give you 3.75 inch power q now we'll find q a so q a will be a is this point so your shaded portion will be this one and this is for q this one will be a dash a so q a is equal to y dash bar a a into a dash a so a dash is 5.5 .5 multiplied by 0 0.25 clear 5.5 .5 multiplied by 0 0.25 and what will be uh, y dash b so it will be the half from the new from neutral axis till the half of this shaded portion this is y dash bar a and this is again this is 2.5 inch because the half of this will be this is 2.375 and this half is 0 0.125 so again it will be the same multiply by 2.5 so when you calculate it it will be uh, 3.4 three seven five cubic inch why we find both these two you can see qb is greater tick tick uh, the beam i will write the beam will fail the beam will fail at glue at the glue joint for board b why because since q is maximum for this board this is the board this is the b board blue joint at b clear so what we will write we know that allowable sharing stress is equal to v into q divided by i into t clear and allowable sharing stress was 400 pound per square inch that is equal to v is not known q will be equal to re replaced by qb which is 3.75 divided by i i which we have calculated 23.231 multiply by thickness now what is the thickness so you can see that this glue thickness and this glue thickness so this each thickness is 0 0.25 so i will write two there are two thickness so two multiply by 0 0.25 okay so we are interested to find out v so v will be equal to 400 multiply by 2 multiply by 0 0.25 multiply by 23.231 divide by 375 3.75 sorry 3.75 so when you calculate it you will get the maximum shear force which is 1239 pounds and in kips it will be 1.24 kips so this is the shear force that can be applied on this beam this is the shear force so that was all about problem 7-33 43 now we'll move towards 7-44 which is just like same so statement is the box beam is made from four pieces of plastic that are glued together if now shear force is two kips so determine the shear stress resisted by seam at each of the glue joint so what is given i will write it problem 7-44 so given v is v is equal to 2 2 kips which is 2000 pounds so what we have to find we have to find the shear stress resisted by each seams of the joint at the glue so for that you have to find shear stress at a 
blue and shear stress at B blue. So let's start with the solution. So we know that shear stress at A is equal to V into QA divided by I into T. So again QA which we have found here is available. I is also available over here. Thickness at this uh, A will be two times here 0 0.25 and I is V is also V is given so you have to put the values so T A is equal to 2 into V A is equal to 2 into 10 to the power 3 because it is in kips Q A is given as 3.43 3.4375 you can check it over here clear divide by i which is uh, 23.231 multiply by thickness 2 multiply by 0 0.25 because two points are glued one is this one other one is this one so when you calculate it you will get shear stress at a glue is 646 psi similarly you can find shear stress at b is equal to v into qb divided by i into t so v is 2 into 10 to the power 3 multiplied by qa is 3.75 divided by i is 23.231 multiplied by 2 times thickness 0.25 and when you solve this you will get the answer 592 psi so this is the shear stress resisted at blue a and this is the shear stress resisted at blue b at point b of the glue and that was all about this problem 7-44 i hope you have enjoyed both this problem again if you have been asked to find uh, to solve problem 7.44 so then you have to find this i you have to find this qb and qa as well and then you will move toward these two points i hope you have enjoyed those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching